All right, I have to start with um, loved the series, binged all the way through. Oh, awesome. But it's so funny because I'm like, your character, Alexis, is the girl that we love to hate. Yep. Um, I've got to imagine as an actress, that's just so rich to play. There's so much there. It's so much fun, I, especially because she's not just your average villain. She has so many layers to her, and th I think the writers did an amazing job of giving her that that layer to be able to love to hate her, not just hate her. <laughs> yeah, and that's what's interesting about it, too. When you have a character that's a villain, there has to be some humanity. There has to be some vulnerability, mm -hmm. too. And there has to be reasons why we still like her because yeah. you can't just outright just hate someone. Yeah. So what do you think is like Alexis's vulnerability? Well, her career is so important to her. And she, when we first meet her, it's in a, a tough position. And as you know, she tries the whole season to revive it. So I think um, growing up in the spotlight, she's always sort of been the it girl and now she's really having a hard time adjusting to not being the it girl anymore and uh figuring out how to get back there so that's her biggest struggle in the first season at least what are you hearing from the fans about alexis because they love to sound off on social media oh, i'm hearing mixed reviews <laughs> um people i think are really loving to hate her a lot of people are telling me that she's their favorite uh because she just has all the like best zingers which <laughs> is true she does <laughs> so i mean if i were watching to be completely honest she'd probably be my favorite yeah, I mean, there, there's just so much richness there. That's what I love about it. And, you know, what I think is really funny is that, you know, the series has a heightened version of what Hollywood is. Like, there's extreme situations. And you guys are all young, um, both on the show and as your characters. How do you stay grounded in a world that's, like, swirling around? And, you know, there's a lot going on, a lot of attention on you guys right now. Um, that's a really good question, actually. I haven't been asked that yet. It's interesting because I think going into it, especially this cast, which is what I love so much about them, we all uh, had a very clear idea of what everyone was going to expect us to like turn into. And we all have been making a really conscious effort throughout to m maintain our uh, humanity and staying really grounded. And it's really important to us not to get over, like affected into all that which is so easy to do so at least for me I told all my loved ones <laughs> if you ever catch me like you know getting a little off my track you have to call me out on it and they do <laughs> it's good you can like if I have a moment let yeah, me know exactly exactly <laughs> yeah I want to be brought back down we all should we all have those yeah. days in this town because it's a bubble too and yeah. we forget sometimes Except my mom takes advantage of it a little too much but <laughs> every time we fight she's like you're having a moment <laughs> you're like wait a minute mom <laughs> yeah. no I'm just being a daughter actually <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> how about uh, I love the wardrobe too that you guys all have what is that what was your favorite season one outfit that you wore oh there's so many good clothes actually my favorite outfit was the outfit that was seen the least unfortunately it's this really awesome like mesh top and these uh, palazzo like palazzo how do you say palazzo that? pants palazzo yeah pants, and they're black and like they come out and um it was the scene where i I'm, i don't know if i'm, I'm allowed to say this right because it's out it's out um, yeah it's the scene where i come uh kevin o'hare is talking about jake's script and he barges in and tries to save himself um <laughs> but that was the outfit also the blue fur coat oh person. the blue fur coat is pretty <laughs> I mean, it's pretty I epic her, yeah. <laughs> i know well you have one today too yeah. a little, little bit of fringe <laughs> a little bit of alexis with you today yeah, exactly. <laughs> if there's a season two we don't know yet at this point fingers crossed <laughs> because you guys left me hanging at episode 10 there right. um where would you like to see your character go if you could write it mm. Well, I think what I love about the last episode so much, at least for my character, is she really got her balls back, and she really took charge, and it was like the Alexis that I auditioned for and that I fell in love with, because she did sort of fall off her track a little bit throughout the first season, and um, she kind of got appropriately vindictive in my opinion at the end <laughs> so I really want to see her take that and run with it and and um yeah kind of own the town again I kind of like that yeah, <laughs> yeah she needs to own the town for a bit yeah she also I would like to see her fall in love it would be oh. nice 
just, yeah. I know she dabbled here and there. She dabbled in love, but I don't know if she really found it yet. <laughs> How about for you um, as a career in Hollywood? What have been some of your biggest challenges? Man, um, well, I, obviously this becoming an actor is the craziest challenge mm -hmm. you can imagine. Uh, but I think my biggest challenge so far was when it when I started to really pursue this career, it was when I was supposed to be in college or go to college, and everyone in my life was like really vying for me to do that. And um, ev at that point, everyone was against me pursuing a career as opposed to going to school. So it was tough to sort of be, it to feel like everyone was against me and I had to, yeah. but it made me want to prove everyone wrong, which was cool. Is there anyone that you modeled your career after or that you sit there and you think like, you not have the same exact career, but you're like, I like the steps that they've taken. Definitely. Oh, there's so many. Uh, I think Scarlett Johansson has an incredible career. Uh, I love the project she chooses. I think she does a great job in kind of doing various different types of things. Mm -hmm. uh, Jennifer Lawrence. Who doesn't reasons. love J-Law? Yeah, right? I feel like she doesn't even count anymore for an answer. Because she's on everyone's list. I don't even yeah. act, and I'm like, she's on my list. Yeah, like, you just know I'm going to say her. Uh, so they've definitely, uh, Claire Danes. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, too. Yeah. yeah, and she's someone that really came out through her teens, yeah. too, and, and had a very successful transition to a successful adult career as well. Um, and how about for you, just kind of final question, what are your goals in Hollywood, dreams, projects that you would love to tackle? Oh, man, well, I love dark, uh, dramatic movies as far as acting goes. Interestingly enough, I don't love watching them as much, but I love acting in them. <laughs> so I really want to do like a really awesome like Winner's Bone type thing yeah. or something in that realm. But right now, I'm, and I also am a director and a writer, mm -hmm. so I want to continue to pursue that and make a living off of that too and make some really cool movies one day but right now I'm like loving being on Famous in Love <laughs> I, I feel understand. like we're all like freshmen you know it does it feels it has that yeah. like feel to we're it like we got lockers you know <laughs> all the exciting things that wear off by senior year my own combination yeah exactly <laughs> well we're all waiting for that season too so I'm like yeah. I can't wait to see what's Me next too. <laughs> thanks so much Nikki appreciate Thank it you.